So you said you're the man for the job? Yes, this was this was the ultimate. This was going to be my masterpiece. I felt it even then. That uh, I had to do this. I wanted to do it. I didn't care what was the reason for it. I wanted to do it. I needed to do it. It was like getting the the life, the the the, the assignment, the the the, the uh, production uh, uh, dream of a lifetime. This was like a, a documentary. But. As much fictional as, as anything else they've ever seen, but without their knowing it. That was the challenge. That was why I had to do it. It had never been done before, and no mistakes could be made. It had to be absolutely perfect, and who the fuck better than me to do that? I made 2001, for God's sake. It, you know, the best sci-fi movie ever made. Some people say the best movie ever made. Even Pauline Kael liked it, and certainly uh, NASA liked it, and the president liked it, President Nixon. This was the logical progression of that achievement. Okay, so you, you basically are given a blank check by the government. And you're, you go where to film this? Where? Uh, somewhere in Nevada. You can't say where? No, because everything in Nevada stays in Nevada. But anyway. Okay, okay. That's good enough. <laughs> uh, fair enough. So, okay, uh, you're there. And, and, and what happens there? You're on set and you got to make a movie that no one knows is a movie. About no, no one knows it's a fiction movie. Right. Well, they don't even think it's a movie. They think it's live television programming. But you're faking live That's television right. See, programming. It even confuses me. Sometimes. Well, it's meta layered. I mean, you you're you had to make and a that's movie. True, you know, sometimes I actually believe it myself. It was that good. It's just so fucking real. And it it is. And it had to be. And you wrote the lines for these astronauts and stuff. And I mean, the one small step. Yes. Line. Well, there wasn't much to write, but yes, I did. Okay. That m one small step. Which, which Armstrong fucked up, actually. Okay. Did you no, get mad was, at him? No, because I like Neil, but that's okay. He, right. he was a good guy. In fact, we became very good friends on the set. Really? It's funny. I, I should say on the moon, but it was actually <laughs> on the set. Okay. Sorry. Okay, talk about ready? I want to start you off. What was your favorite movie from the 1950s? Or 60s, either one. Okay, actually, the 50s is my favorite then decade for, Tell me for your movies. Tell top movie and discuss it. And why someone should see it. Well, my favorite is Paths of Glory. And now, without giving it all away, uh -huh. convince someone why, in like five or six minutes, why they should see it, and why it's great, who made it, you know, a little bit about it. It was Stanley story. Kubrick. Um, cool. I think it was only his second or third movie. And when you're done, remember, after eight minutes, and, all you uh, do is hit that bar, and then don't touch it now, but that's all you do. Okay. okay? Cool. So, continue. And uh, it took place in World War One. What year was it, man? Or what 1957. Year you see it? Okay. Go on. Uh, and it took place in uh, France during World War One. Uh, I d I'm you know uh, I know I've never been in a war and maybe I don't have a right to an opinion. Some people would say, but uh, uh, you know what? I'm getting interrupted here and it's kind of distracting. But anyway, um, uh, in spite of that, you know. I don't think that that diminishes my. Uh... Okay, all right. Anyway, well, so then why am I doing this? We're talking about the film. Okay, I'm. Talking talking about not being this is war. about the film too. You're but okay. About you not being in a war. Just like all right, all right. I just wanted to, you know, say that. Well, that's obvious. You're sick of hearing no. Isn't that just too bad? That's part of life. Having to listen to no once in a while. I'm sick of it, and that's why I'm not putting up with it anymore. Well, I think the okay. difference, I think, um, what I'm, my, uh, with all due respect, sir, what I'm trying to say is that, <clears throat> frankly, you derive um, your income from us, and... Not for much longer, I don't. 